Alright, the Switch 2 is finally here and we have a lot of reports about its amazing graphics with superb frame rates alongside its beautiful screen and also its not so good battery life. And I got myself one right here. What I want to find out is the charging protocol, the charging speed and maybe also discover some of the quirks that the new Switch 2 has. Now, thanks to this small little tool that we have here, we can do just that. And I spent the past few days just idling in Mario Kart World to drain the battery until the Switch 2 could not be turned on anymore and then initiate the charging test to bring you all of the results that we are going to talk about today. But first, let's talk about the chargers themselves. The OG Nintendo Switch has a charger with a built-in USB-C cable and it is rated for 5 volts at 1.5 amps or 15 volts at 2.6 amps. It also officially supports USB PD 2.0 with a maximum wattage of 39 watts. The new Nintendo Switch 2 charger is more akin to what we are familiar with in today's standard. We have a charging brick with a detachable USB-C cable. The cable in itself, well, it's quite basic as there's literally no other details that we can find about it. There is no e-marker chip in this cable so we don't know the official wattage that it supports or what the maximum file transfer speed that it supports. I would presume that it only supports 60 watts at most. Now the charger itself is actually upgraded compared to what we had last time. It now supports USB PD 3.0 instead of 2.0 with up to 60 watts of power with these four voltages at 3 amps. It's just completely different from the OG switch. However, if we just want to plug the charger directly to the switch or the switch 2, then it is completely fine. It is the dock that we have to be careful of. You see, the OG Switch dock, which I have here, uh, there were many issues with it. Remember when the OG switches were breaking left and right because of third-party docks or the charger used? Yeah, it happened with the firmware version 5 and I remember it fondly. That is when I found out that the Switch isn't exactly following the USB PD standard when using this dock. And I have proof. You see, when I use this Thunderbolt 5 extension cable that I have and just connect it to the USB-C port inside the dock, I can also then connect it to this little tool and test out the charging protocols that it support. And for the OG switch dock, there are no protocols detected. That means we have definitive proof that it does not support USB PD standard. Moving on to the new Switch 2 dock. It will output a maximum of 42 watts with these three voltage levels, but the 15 volt mode has dropped to 2.8 amps. This is certainly weird and I have to put out a warning here. I'm not sure if Nintendo is following the USB PD 3.0 standard strictly or if they are going to stray away from the USB PD standard like the OG switches dock. It is highly recommended that you use Nintendo's own charger and cable with the dock to prevent any mishaps as I don't want the great third-party dock debacle to happen again with the new Nintendo Switch 2. As for the charging test, this is where things get funky. From my test, I drained the Nintendo Switch 2 all the way down until it cannot be turned on anymore. And then I started the charging test. From what I can find out, it will take at most around 11 watts of power and it sometimes spiked to around 16 watts. That makes the Switch 2's charging speed rather slow. It will take around 2.5 hours to actually charge from what I presume to be 0% to completion. I can't be sure if this is actually 0% to completion because when I try to normalize the total watt hour energy received on the Switch 2 with the battery's rated capacity of 19.74 watt hours, um, yeah, it charges more than 100%. So this normalizing method usually works on every other devices that I have tried, but I'm not sure why it didn't work with the Switch 2. So mm, that, that's just some weird behavior. It could be also due to a quote unquote buffer so that the battery, when it eventually degrades, it will still appear to be healthy. From what I can see here though, 
usually when the charging curve flattens it signifies that the charging is complete or near completion oh this test is actually done with the top port of the nintendo switch 2 it has two usb-c ports now so i decided to redo the test with the bottom port to see if there is any difference to my surprise no not really it seems to be about the same really almost identical actually what about the docked mode then well it's also the same despite whatever we did the switch 2 will only charge at 11 watts at most and spikes to around 16 watts occasionally considering that the charger and the dock can output much higher wattages the switch 2 could have taken maybe like 20 watts or even 30 watts to quickly charge the battery but looking at what we have now nintendo is definitely playing it safe you see slow charging is definitely gonna prolong the battery's lifespan as slower charging will not produce as much heat as we all know heat is the ultimate enemy for lithium ion batteries in our devices it's also the same reason why so many phones will show us this kind of warning whenever we try to enable fast charging and some phones will even recommend us the option to disable fast charging entirely for me i personally do not use fast charging in my devices most of the time but that is a topic for another day so when will the switch 2 actually take in more power actually when we are playing games and charging the console at the same time still it is not much more than the 11 watts average but it is definitely higher and that's all that we have to share with you here in today's video it's a rather short one and i just want to present some of my findings with the world let me know if you have any other curious things that you'd like me to test out on the nintendo switch 2 and remember to hit that like and subscribe button as that will also help us out a lot honestly though the nintendo switch 2 is such a big upgrade from the og switch yeah i'm, I'm just having a blast now <laughs>